Good morning. Hello, my dear students. Today, in EVS, we will do an activity to understand Big Bang theory, which explains the formation of our universe. Okay. For this activity, we need a balloon, a marker, a scale, a needle, some paper scraps, a sparkle tape, and this worksheet to fill in the observations of our activity. First of all, we need to put these paper scraps into this balloon. After filling the scrap into the balloon, we have to blow a little bit air into it. Only this much for starting. Now. I have marked a point H on the balloon and this H means our home galaxy which is the Milky Way galaxy. Now we have to mark five more points on this balloon at different distances. And we have to name them as A, B, C, D and E. Now children, we will be blowing air into the balloon and after every blow, we are going to measure the distance of the galaxies A, B, C, D and E from H. After measuring the distance using a scale, we will note down the observations in this table. Now let's start blowing the air. This was my first blow. Now let's measure the distance between the galaxies A and H. Now let's measure the distance between the dots A and H. It is 1.6 centimeters. Now we will note down the observation in this table. 1.6 cm is the distance of dot A after first blow. Now the distance of dot B from galaxy H is 3 cm. This also we will note down in the table. 3 cm is the distance of dot B after first blow. Similarly, I have measured the distance of dot C D and E from point H and note it down in this worksheet. Now I will blow the air into the balloon for the second time. This is my second blow. Again we are going to measure the distance of the dots A, B, C, D, E from galaxy H. Now I will measure the distance of dot C from dot H after the second blow. And it is 4.2 Now I have noted down the distances of dot A, B, C and D after the second blow also. Similarly, I have measured the distances of all these dots after third and fourth blow also. Now children, let's analyze these results. Can you see these distances between the dots are increasing after every blow. See earlier after first blow it was 1.6 now 1.8, 2.1 and 2.2 and the same is with other dots also. Earlier it was 3, 3.4, 3.6 and 3.9. Similarly distances between the other dots is also increasing after every blow. Sorry children I had to change the balloon because the previous one burst before I could finish the activity. 
we are considering these dots as the galaxies and this H1 is our home galaxy which is the Milky Way galaxy. Children, as we have observed that the distance of each dot from H has increased after every time I inflated the balloon. These dots are the galaxies, right? So we can say after each blow, these galaxies are moving far from each other. So children, this balloon is the hot ball which was continuously expanding to form a universe. And these dots are the galaxies which are expanding due to the dark energy. As whenever we blow air into it, it becomes bigger and the galaxies move farther. Similarly, due to the dark energy, these galaxies are moving far away and our universe is continuously expanding. Before performing the Big Bang, we have to make a cross or plus sign with the sparkle tape or marker on the floor like this. Now children, we are going to do the Big Bang with the help of this balloon and this needle. And this is the most exciting part of this activity, right? Yes. Now I am going to burst this balloon, keeping it here in the middle of this cross. So let's make the big bang. Now let's observe children, how did the scrap fall on the floor? Let's see. We can see they all are scattered here and there. These paper scraps are not evenly dispersed. See, some of them are collected together here and there is so much distance between the others. If this were a real universe, these clustered areas might become galaxies over time. Children, all these scraps which have fallen inside this cross comes into the known universe and the scrap which have fallen outside this cross is an unknown part of the universe. So it is called the dark matter. Outside this cross, we don't know how much big is our universe and what are its boundaries. So the shape and the boundaries of our universe are unknown. Let me repeat once for you how this universe was formed, okay? Long time ago, there was a hot ball which was continuously expanding. Then it exploded to form a universe. The scientists named it as the Big Bang. Slowly, the matter cooled down to form various celestial bodies. Celestial bodies are all the natural objects in the sky like stars, planets, moon, etc. Since then, our universe is expanding.